I'm meteorologist Kevin Roth. The snow is done falling through North Texas, but we're not done with the impacts from the snow. All that snow that fell earlier, we're talking about airport delays, travel impacts. And of course, what about how the forecast looks for the rest of the week and into the weekend? I've got the answer coming up tonight at 9 on Nightcap. Temperatures didn't even reach freezing today. 30 degrees DFW, currently 30 in Addison, 30 in Dallas as well. And if you've been outside, you know it feels a whole lot colder than that. Wind chill values in the teens right now. Feels like 18 in DFW, 18 in Addison. Because of that, we have a wind chill advisory set up for Parker, Wise, Denton, Collin, and any counties north and west of that. So that does not include the Metroplex for the advisory, but it's still going to be plenty cold. And as a little cherry on top, we also have some snow headed this way. You see it moving through the panhandle of Texas. I'll let you know how much snow is going to fall where you are coming up in just a bit. It has been a very active day in weather. It started with the cold front dropping temperatures about 30 degrees. Now some showers starting to pop up. You look east of the Metroplex here through Kaufman, Van Zant County. Some of these little brief showers and then north now through Denton starting to see a little bit of rain as well but this is just drizzle. You got to zoom out to get the big picture here. What's really going on? A lot more and a large swath here from thunderstorms all the way up to freezing rain moving through West Texas. It's already been through Lubbock. This is headed east and this is headed to the Metroplex. As the system comes through, what kind of precipitation we see is entirely dependent on what the temperature is. And you look at this right now, that cold front has stalled out, just cutting the Metroplex right in half, dividing North Texas. If you go farther to the northwest, 31 in Wichita Falls, temperatures below freezing. That means you have to look out for freezing rain in that area. Farther to the southeast, Tyler still at 72 degrees. A lot of heat, a lot of humidity. So there you're looking for strong to even severe thunderstorms. Now in the Metroplex and surrounding areas, we're right at 37 and that's a good temperature to be at. Yes, it's cold, but it's not below freezing. So we don't have to worry about freezing rain, nor do we have to worry about those strong thunderstorms. Our biggest concern is just going to be rain and plenty of it. Let's go ahead and put Futurecast in motion here. This storm's going to come through midnight and later. You see it really starting to fire up here. I posted it at four in the morning. A lot of people are going to be asleep as the system really gets going. And you look at some of these brighter reds farther south and east of the Metroplex. That's where that heat is that I was talking about. And that's where we're going to see the strongest of the storms. It continues overnight, goes into the early morning hours by 6, 7 a.m. Still hanging on there in the Metroplex. This will start to clear out later in the morning and into the early afternoon and all of a sudden we go from a deluge to clearing skies, even clouds starting to break. So Saturday starts ugly, ends up looking pretty good. The main concern here for the Metroplex are those storms coming after midnight and flooding is going to be a big issue. We're talking one to three inches of rain and some of these storms will be training, which means just raining in the same locations over and over. And that's where we could see some of that flooding. But you like the low. Yes, it's cold, 35 degrees, but it is above freezing, and that is key. For tomorrow, early morning storms, then those clouds break a high of 48 degrees. And you'll notice we do start to clear out this system as you look into the seven day. By Monday, clouds still hanging on. Tuesday, the sun really breaks through a high of 52. And for the Christmas forecast, 56 degrees, not looking bad at all.